My name is Eric Soto, and uh, I had a point zero 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 one chance of being stung by a bee today. <laughs> and my wife, when I woke up, told me to wear a bee suit. So I did. And y'all look fantastic. Y'all made different uh, outfit decisions today, and you look great. So I'll please address the board. What's that? Please address the board. I was addressing okay. the board. Karen. Okay. Thank you. The board's also over okay. there, so you Thank gotta you. have a whole field of view here when you're talking. Now, one of the things that I wanted to point out that I didn't even know was gonna happen is, I was like, man, it's kinda dim in here. It's kinda dark. Until I was so hot that I took off my helmet and I realized it's bright in here. See. There are a lot of unintended consequences for the decisions that we make in life. And what we're talking about today is we're really talking about risk tolerance. That's all this comes down to is risk tolerance. You have those that continue to wear masks. I believe that they have a, a lower risk tolerance. Those of us who choose not to wear a mask, we have a higher risk tolerance. Because you see, 661, I think, is the number that out of 475, 480,000 people, that's 0 0.001 chance of dying in Seminole County. In Seminole County. So why are we wearing masks? It doesn't make any logical sense. As we've seen so many people state statistic after statistics after statistic. I'm dumbfounded that we are here again after being here so many times to talk about this. Now, I'm actually optimistic because I actually think that every single one of you is gonna vote to leave things the way they are now. You had the union guy saying, maybe it'll work. It might be effective. That's not what he was saying last year. He was saying, we must do this. So even his verbiage has toned it down because he realizes it isn't gonna make a difference. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. God bless America. God bless.